for... Oh! <laughs> Deanna Berry has taken one of the marks of the year. Well, I've got Deanna Berry here who's uh, just been drafted by Melbourne. You've selected at pick number nine, which is the second pick after Elise O'Day. Uh, how do you sort of describe today? Yes, I'm speechless, speechless to everything at the moment. Um, it's in, been an incredible morning and to be selected um, as Melbourne's second pick, it's, oh, I, I can't even begin to explain how it is and as a female player to be, finally pull on an AFL jumper, it's just, yeah, it's just a real eye-opener to my life and I can't wait. Yeah, forward's a chance of putting a lot of pressure on the Bulldogs, but and when you do that, you get your secondary stoppages. Barry with a second opportunity to shoot on goal. This time it's vacant and she finds it and the Dees have the lead. 13 to zip as we start the second term. Here's Mark Sotis from Seven for the D. Stacey Kish gets the clearance. Here's a chance under the second time. They've been inside 50. Running into the open goal is Berry and she gets it. What a great reply. Great start. Nice. And now Cranston can mop up unselfishly. It's a two on one. Kick at Daisy Pierce. Hamels over the top to Berry. Runs into an open goal and they're piling it on the Demons. Cordner tries to run her down. Conti inside 50, Jacobson floats back, opportunity at the back, open goal beckons for Berry, runs to 20 metres. Coming the other direction was Stanton, McLeod went off the deck, now a chance for the Dogs to open up, Berry could have looked up and gone to Ferris, she goes herself, will it skid through, it's straight, it's rolling, it's home! See the head of two good. Vernon run down from behind by Berry. Good kick from the boundary line. Decides to go the check side, bends it round. Not bad off the boot, not bad at all. She's slotted it and watched them come to her. Deanna Berry, so skillful. She slots her first goal in about 12 months, Joe Watton. You can just see in that emotion how much it means to her. She did the ACL injury in round five of last season. She's worked so incredibly hard to get back to playing AFL footy at the highest level and that meant a lot. That meant a lot to her and it meant a lot to her teammates. Good solid work inside 50 again from the Dockers to a two on one. Berry comes in now, runs away from Franklin. Can she hit a target on the way out? She can, that is exactly what they needed. Delightful kick from Berry. Absolutely thumps it inside forward 50. Brown playing in front, but Berry did really well to follow up. Feeds it out to Wilcox. Who gives it to Newton inside forward 50? Hair passes over the top to Cranston, who can waltz into an open goal. Slipped as she kicks. And it was all part of the plan. From directly in front, sneaks it in. This one isn't over yet. Look for the DNA to spark the dogs back to life here. Berry around the footy's been pivotal in the last few weeks as well. Run right and send it deep. Frederick flies. Crumb slasher, tackle Berry, stuck it beautifully. Kick was skew if and you could hear the chagrin from the Dogs fans. They like that. Berry crunched into Miffin. Contested Mark Staff, the one that Nathan Burke looks at, and it's looking good for them at the moment. Berry starting to carve them up around the clearances. Oh, Edmonds in position, he'll get over the back. The dangerous D Berry gets the goal the Doggies needed. the hand pass from Hall, put herself under pressure, back to Hall, Berry. Back to Lamb, back to Carruthers, under pressure, Berry, they're just surging it. Berry, a third flying shot towards goal, and this one's got the K! That gives something to cheer about for the Dogs fans. How quickly she wants to play on here, because all of the players for West Coast are inside 50. Well called, Nikki, because the turnover, and it goes straight back over their head, and the Bulldogs strike late in this first term. Berry with a long goal.